The official results show that the Galaxy S23 series has surpassed the Galaxy S22 lineup by a significant margin. This is great news for Samsung, but it could be a lost cause if the next major decision backfires. Despite the Galaxy S23 series' amazing success, largely due to Samsung's global adoption of the Qualcomm chip, they decided to abandon it and bring back the dead, or Exynos. Well, we have our first indication as to which market will receive the Exynos, and that is Europe. It looks like Samsung is going in a different direction going forward, so bid adieu to Qualcomm. According to ICE Universe, Exynos is making its way to Europe, which naturally implies that it will also be available in the UK. As is customary, Samsung is expected to introduce the Exynos processor to the Asian region, which includes the enormous Indian market, in addition to Europe. As previously stated, Samsung cannot fail with this Exynos generation because if they do, people will forever lose faith in the company. However, recent rumors have indicated that the Exynos 2400 will be a very capable chip, possibly around the same performance as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Nevertheless, we are going to see a few performance variations due to the different process of manufacture as Samsung is using their 4 nanometer tech. Which is improved, but is it as good as TSMC's 4 nanometer? We don't know. Additionally, as we previously discussed, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will come with a new 50 megapixel 3x optical zoom that will use high resolution to improve zoom all the way from 3x to 10x. As you may recall, we just had a major camera improve this year with the S23 Ultra 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP2 sensor. But guess what? A new version of this sensor is coming to the S24 Ultra. According to ICE Universe, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to include a new ISO Cell HP2 SX200 megapixel sensor, which will be further optimized to bring the best performance. Finally, but just as importantly, Samsung may ultimately release a rollable screen phone in 2025. This has been a long-term project, as evidenced by the numerous prototypes the company has shown off, along with those from a few other brands this year, including Motorola. It's highly likely that we'll be seeing this technology emerge in the near future. And given that Samsung was the first to introduce a folding phone to worldwide markets, it makes perfect sense for them to follow suit with the rollable phone, perhaps in 2025. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.